Hello and welcome to Business Talk TV from the Yorkshire Post. My name is Greg Wright, I'm the Deputy Business Editor of the Yorkshire Post. I'm joined by my colleague Ishmael Muller, who's another member of the business reporting team, to talk about some of the big business issues facing our region at the moment. Well, this morning the beer company Black Sheep Brewery, a very well-known Yorkshire name, has posted another loss as it uh, files its annual accounts. Ishmael, you've been looking at this story. What sort of reason has the Black Sheep Brewery given for the fact that it's published another loss this, this morning? Well, uh, the primary reasons were the rise of microbreweries uh, and also the company mentioned uh, potential political uncertainty and the Brexit vote. Now, the key thing f uh, to take away from these results is the rise of microbreweries because they've obviously taken action since the uh, results were filed, for the period th that the results were filed, uh, by developing their own craft beer range as well. Well, that's interesting because I suppose the competition for the microbreweries is quite intense. I mean, I know that we have many fine microbreweries in the region already. It's quite a strong selling point for Yorkshire, isn't it? I know you've written about a few of them in the past. Yeah, and everyone seems to be championing microbreweries, but at the same time, uh, traditional brewers um, are likely to be impacted, and I think the black sheep story um, uh, highlights this quite uh, well in terms of it being seen as a uh, traditional brewer and being left behind, as it were, by these new crafty, trendy uh, brewers that are cropping up everywhere. In fact, I th believe uh, earlier this morning in this statement that I was looking at, I read that there's 1,900 brewers in the UK now that black sheep are competing That's against. That's inc an incredible number, isn't it? And these yeah. are different sizes. These are literally of all shapes and sizes. Yeah. I mean, it, there's obviously a demand for this. I think people now are perhaps more discriminating about what they drink. And I think perhaps people want to have more authenticity when they're drinking as well, which again has an impact, mm. a possibly positive impact on the microbrewery scene in Yorkshire. Mm. Well, there's that. And on top of that, there is also the fact that uh, image has a lot to do with how uh, consumers consume their products. And if we look at Black Sheep, one of the things that they said in their statement was that uh, they wanted to, um, whilst protecting their image, they wanted to be seen as more than just being a traditional uh, beer brewer. And uh, as a result, they've come out with their own craft team uh, that has been charged with creating a new range of exciting drinks for the current market. That's great because I think many people for many years have been campaigning for improved quality of ale and brewing and mm. I imagine people like Camera, the campaign for real ale, those people would be absolutely delighted that so many small breweries are springing up around the region. I'm sure they are, yes, um, and I'm sure that the more choice there is for consumers the better it is for them. Uh, however, once again it comes back to the black sheep story which is that there are a lot of traditional brewers as well who um, are facing challenges as a result of, these, uh, of, of the increased competition that they face. He also mentioned in the results additional uncertainty from Brexit. Did he sort of add any, anything more to that to give any insights to how Brexit is really affecting the business? Well, the managing director did mention that there was uh, issues around consumer confidence. So we can assume that Brexit is playing a role in how people are buying uh, as well, or at least that is something that is on the brewer's mind. Uh, and several companies along the years, uh, along the uh, th throughout the years, um, mentioned Brexit as a potential uh, problem for them going ahead. Um, you can look at it another way as well, where exporting opportunities are created by the weaker pound. So, um, uh, but that is wholly dependent on the company taking action to find these new markets. It's interesting because so many companies are mentioning Brexit as something to be concerned about or, or an air of uncertainty. And whatever you think about Brexit, most companies that I have reported on over the last few months have, have mentioned this. The simple fact is we don't know what the full impact of Brexit will be, which I suppose is why people are sort of factoring in Brexit as something they need to consider when they're planning their business for the next few years. Yeah, well, I mean, this is the thing about Brexit, is the uncertainty that is in the run-up to actually us leaving the European Union. So far, nothing has actually changed. We are still part of the European Union. Um, however, a lot of businesses have, uh, that I've spoken to as well, they say they want certainty to allow them to plan ahead. Right now, uh, one minute we're being told by cabinet ministers that there will be a no-deal scenario. The next minute we're being told that uh, there is scope for us to continue. And now we're being told that the negotiations could be drawn out longer than the two years. Uh, it's very difficult for businesses who rely on a day-to-day -day basis on ensuring that 
their customers are going to be coming to them and the market conditions remain stable to plan ahead for these uh, situations because nobody knows at the end of the day. that's the simple answer to Brexit nobody actually knows what the answer is what the conclusion of these negotiations will be and what the immediate impact will be once we leave the European Union well thank you Ishmael I'm sure Brexit will pose many many questions over the next few uh, years and months thanks once again for joining us for Business Talk TV for me Greg Wright and Ishmael Muller Thank you for watching and until next time, goodbye.